If you want to buy cheap and reliable NBA 2K20, MT, and NFL 20 Muck coins, please go to dvdj.com slash NBA 2K20 and use code XCAPAR to get 10% off your first purchase. What is going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video and I'm coming at you guys with another one of the best and worst value lists. Now remember before we get into this that when I talk about the worst value small forwards or the worst value cards in general that this is just meaning they are bad for the price that they are going for in the auction house, okay? Does not mean that I think that the cards are bad. It does not mean that I think that they're trash. All right, these cards can be great. I actually personally um, like two of the cards that we have on the list, and one of them is the best, one of the best cards in the game. But for value, I can't warrant spending a lot of MT on some of these cards because I just know that better versions are coming out really soon. For example, there's a lot of the cards on the list. Um, specifically the number three and the number actually the five four and one spot on the worst value list um, There's a better card that just came out in Terrence Ross than all of them for a better value if He's just a shooting guard, but anyway to start off our list We have two current collection cards one of them being um, LeBron James and again LeBron James is a really good card. Don't get me wrong guys, but for about 40 K, maybe 35k somewhere between there you know it's just ah, i can't warrant it i cannot just sit i can't let you guys go out here and spend all of this mt on a card that's so average um lebron is going to have insane cards later in the year don't lock up your mt and buy this amethyst when as soon as the season starts him and ad are going to have crazy games and he's going to get a diamond he may even get a better amethyst he's going to get pink diamonds he's probably going to get an opal during the year like it's gonna happen don't waste your mt on uh this amethyst quite yet if you're a big lebron fan just wait you'll get it i promise you i promise you uh next and uh, oh yeah number four is on the current and it's Giannis. okay i know a lot of people are gonna hate on this because Giannis is one of the best cards in the game just because how tall he is but again same philosophy as uh, lebron a better card is going to come out that is probably going to really i mean there's going to be a better card of Giannis is going to come out and it's going to trump this card to be even better so why lock up 50 to 60k when you could probably save it for later and use it towards the Giannis that comes out later in the year um that's how i look at a lot of these things and um i think carson something forget his last name um made out a good point um these actually have badges these heat check ones have badges so meaning that once he gets you know cooking during the season this card could be insane so if you're gonna lock up mt i think i would take uh his recommendation and maybe buy one or two of these and maybe flip them later in the year that's <laughs> probably not a bad idea um that's just my personal opinion um that's what i feel about those two uh next is a card that came out in the beginning of the year it wasn't good when it came out to be honest and it's still this is not good now and it's carmelo anthony we're paying about 80k plus for this card and he's just He's just, he's not all that. I mean, similar to Glenn Rice, who's a free card, and he just shoots worse, he dunks worse. Um, Playmaking is about the same. Defense is worse. Rebounding is about the, actually a little bit better. Speed a little bit better, but he's just so average of a card. His release is good, just not as good as it was in previous years. And again, Carmelo's going to get a better card easily. Maybe even a better Ruby um, during the year. This just isn't a card that I would recommend spending money on um, right now in the year. And you know, whatever. Um, at number two is a little bit of a controversial one, I know, and it is Xavier McDaniel. Now, I know I just came out of a video saying that Xavier McDaniel is one of the best cards in the game. He is, but this he's going for like 80 to 90k for this uh, Amethyst, which I don't warrant spending 80 to 90k on almost any card. You can see the diamond's going for almost 200k, and the pink diamond um, I personally sold for over 500k, and now I think is going between. Um, like 400 to 350k uh, roundabout so it's just none of his versions um, are worth it if you can get one of his amethyst I think at 80k is worth it because you can flip it to a pink diamond um, but the diamond and the pink diamond aren't worth it for the price that they're going up for right now I, again I cannot recommend spending any MT on a lot of these expensive cards I mean you can see I have 1.6 mil MT and I'm gonna be coming out with a video on how I made it and how I've kept it so far um, and as part of that, that um, self-control, we'll call it. Um, next, at number one on our list is going to be John Havlicek. And he goes for about 150, maybe 200K. And again, really good card. Just, I don't know, not feeling him too much. And again, I just feel like better cards are going to come out. But he's great. 
Um, awesome card, great all around. I mean, honestly, not a bad card. But I mean, come on, it's 150k. No card is worth it in my opinion on that. So you just, I can't warrant spending too much MT on that. So starting out our best value list is a Ruby um, that I personally love. And it is Ruby Eddie Jones. I used Eddie Jones for the longest time, goes for about four to five K. And he's just a great defender, great gold badges. I mean, love that card so much. He's just, ah, oh, he's so good. And uh, use him in the beginning to get through a lot of my domination. And we move on to a card that's not gonna make him look horrible. There we go. So he has a good layup, obviously a good post fade in the mid range and three point are amazing. Oh my God, his release is so good. The dunking's great, playmaking's good so he can speed boost at the 88. Defense is amazing, the 96 and 93 Pimber defense, that's why I love him. He's just a beautiful 3 and D player that you can use on any squad. For 4 to 5K, just pick up Eddie Jones, throw him at the shooting guard, throw him at the small forward. I know he's a shooting guard slash small forward, but uh, I use him at the small forward, which is uh, why he's on the list, just ignore that. But insane card, definitely would pick him up. So, so, so good. Uh, next is a card that I think we had in the Legacy, and yes, it is Junior Bridgman at number 4. Um, he goes for about 17 to 20k, which I know is a lot, but he turns into one of the best diamonds um, in the game. Now remember, this best value is for this Amethyst, not the diamond, because the diamond goes for about 50k, 60k. Can't recommend that, but I can recommend a 17k Evo flip to a diamond for about 50, 60k. That's a pretty good flip. Um, personally, I love this card because he's a great um, defender. Um, his release is really good. His mid range is nice. The three point shot is nice. It gets even better when he evos. His dunking is insane. He can speed boost. Great. Has an 80 steal and 85 perimeter defense. Good rebounding. Good speed. We want acceleration 86, 84, and 86. And great badges. Just love the card. And he's just so good. I used him for so long. I made a video on it. Uh, obviously, go check out the gameplay if you guys want to. But he's a great card. And once you evo him into this diamond, he becomes amazing. He gets leathery finisher on Hall of Fame. Has 20 gold badges, um, three silver no bronze but i mean look at the stats he just becomes insane a 95 driving dunk how could you not want a card uh, that has that with 92 speed just a great card i uh, highly recommend it now next is a card that actually just recently came out in the prime series and i think it is yeah there it is billy cunningham he goes for about eight um to i think it's oh well, five to seven k sorry um let me find a cheap one and four hall of fame badges pick and roller pogo stick lapsy finisher put back boss he also has some pretty good stats, honestly. He's one of those all-around great cards. 90 driving lip. I'm going to pick a card that doesn't make him look trash again. Uh, 84 mid-range, 74 three-point. Pretty sure he's got a really nice release. An 8 free throw, 90 in both dunks, which is amazing. Good playmaking, 70 block, 88 steal. Um, and his perimeter and interior defense are both not too bad. Uh, rebound is insane. The speed's pretty good. It's not too great, but it's not too bad. And he's just overall a really nice card. Um, obviously, don't run him at the power forward because he's only 6'6". But I think he's a really slept on card, and I wanted to do this to get a nice little, um, you know, shout out to Billy Cunningham to see if people can uh, pick him up and see how great he is, like I did with Michael Ray Richardson. Uh, next at number two um, is a card that also just came out, and it's Rudy Tom Tomanovich, Tajanovich, something like that. But he's a 6'8 small forward that can also play the power forward. Um, has some great gold badges, catch and shoot corner special pick and popper, post pick technician, volume shooter, steady shooter, just a great card, quick draw. I mean, his release is so good. I'm telling you guys, it is so good. Such a great card. But 89 mid range, 86 three point. He has a good driving layup. He has a good uh, dunking 75 in both. Playmaking is not too bad. The block, steel, perimeter, and, and interior defense are all actually pretty decent. Um, all will get the job done. So he's an overall pretty versatile defender, which is nice. 84 in both rebounds. Pretty fast for a small forward. 77 speed, 75 speed ball, 77 acceleration, 79 lateral quickness. Overall, really good card. Also, shout out to Gerald Green, my favorite card almost. I think he's number two probably behind Terrence Ross, but great card. Overall, highly recommend to um, Rudy, considering he's about 9K uh, MT. Definitely worth the pickup. And without a doubt, the best value card in the game is going to be Jerome Kersey. Um, not too great when you pick him up in an Emerald, especially for his 8 to 9K value. But Jerome Kersey evos into one of the best cards in the game, if not the best card in the game. Um, it's a real big grind to get him up and evoed. But he goes to an insane diamond. He also gets so many badges. I forgot that I also could just look up instead of showing you guys what he looks like at diamond. I know HDB did a really good video um, about his diamond Evo, and you can see some people still have him. He's six foot seven and 24 amazing gold badges, nine silver and five bronze. All amazing. Scroll through them real quick. And look at these stats. 
Ready. 92 driving layup, a 82 post fade, 72 in both post hook and post moves. He has a 92 mid range, 84 three point shot, 89 free throw, 85 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, an 86 ball handle with good playmaking, an 80 steal, 89. I mean, 80 block, 89 steal, 89 perimeter defense, 84 interior defense, 78 offensive, 84 defensive rebounding, and 88 speed, 79 speed ball, 88 acceleration, 90 lateral quickness. Like, oh my god, 8K, and then the ability to make him into this. There's not a better value card in the game. It's easily Jerome Kersey. Um, just like if I could go back, I would make the best value shooting guard, um, no matter what. Terrence Ross. Um, like the video if you guys did enjoy. That's all I got for you today. Go ahead, comment down below if you guys obviously have different lists than mine. But keep in mind that this is about value, not about the cards themselves, just about their value, okay? Don't forget about that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Always subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 1.8K. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video.